Hey guys, Blon Knot here. Last month I had my first show at Merchants of Reality here in San Francisco. It was a ton of fun. It was the first uh, time I'd used the Leap Motion device, which is a hand sensor, a gesture sensor, uh, in a live uh, show setting. And uh, the visuals were pretty fun. We uh, projected onto a tetrahedron and uh, the crowd seemed to like it. So I want to give you a quick tour of how I made it work and uh, give you a sneak peek into what may come. So let me show you, first of all, the Leap Motion MIDI controller, which is right here. Now when I stick my hands into the view of the Leap Motion device, you can see that I can hit a bunch of hot areas in space. I'm actually waving my hands in the air and that's visualized as those little red arrows that are hitting those blocks in space. Now, this MIDI data is being ported through a plugin I built in Quartz Composer, and that's running right now inside VDMX. It's right here. You can see the plugin right here, which corresponds to the space, uh, the spatial controls in the background here. So when I stick my hands again inside those areas, you can see that the visuals respond. Pretty neat. Now there's also an OSC mixer that I've got running in the background, and, uh, and that's pretty important. The reason why it's important is because it allows me to sample the, the uh, hand motions I'm making when I uh, tell it to sample it. So let me turn on auto sampling, which tells, the, uh, tells my plugin here to uh, sample my hand motions uh, when they hit the inside of those uh, hot areas in space. So, let me show you. We're now sampling that data coming from the Leap Motion device and changing those colors in the slide on the lower left. So when I take my hands out, you can see there that the bars are still moving and the visuals are still moving too. So this is a great way to sample uh, your, your hand motions while you're actually using a live, uh, a live device in a live show setting. This is a lot like using a, a, sam a sampler or a loop pedal on a guitar, except now you're using it uh, with your hands in space. Pretty cool. I can do it with all these different uh, pieces up here, the different hot areas. Now those midsections are now sampled. Same with the top ones, up top. I can put my hands up there and you can see that the visuals respond. I've got these things kind of opening and closing and there's some cool glow effects that are happening. When I take my hands out, they keep on going. So that's a cool way to loop your hand gestures to actually build visuals, visuals on the fly. And of course, you can cancel out these samples and uh, tell it to stay still. And then if you want to get back in there, now you're live again. That sample's already been saved, so I can turn them back on and we're back online again. Pretty neat. So let me show you a couple of the slides I've got here. I've got this one, which has a couple of spinning triangles. They kind of open and close and dissolve into a crazy abyss full of triangles. I kept the triangular theme because we were projection mapping onto a tetrahedron, which is four triangles all smushed together. So, so triangles seem to be an appropriate theme <laughs> for the visuals. Pretty neat. Let's try another, another slide. This one's got a rotating gong in the center there. It's also got a bit of a hummingbird theme about it. Let's see if I can make the hummingbirds appear. <laughs> there we go. 
So those slides were built in Quartz Composer. They mixed uh, video clips as well as my own uh, 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 designed uh, compositions. So this is, this is mostly all my own work, probably about 95% all my work. Uh, and the plugin I also built as well. So that's basically it for this quick little demo. I just wanted to show you the inner workings of my VJ rig and uh, kind of give you an idea of what's possible. I hope to do a lot, of, a lot more shows like this. Uh, if you get a chance, check out merchantsofreality.tumblr.com. They're a great gallery space in Soma on 9th and Folsom in San Francisco. You can also check out my website at blonde.not spelled K-N-A-U-T dot net and I'll be posting updates on future events and more stuff like this. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make this thing happen and uh, can't wait to give you guys the next demo for the next project. Until then, this is Blonde Knot signing off. Enjoy. <laughs>